All right, good morning, everybody. Welcome to the final day of trading for this week. Had a good week, had a good day today in more ways than one. Finally got my hands, was delivered today while I was trading on one of these bad boys. Straight from Dwayne The Rock Johnson, the Terry Mana on, on, I don't know how to say it, tequila, but it's a small bass whiskey barrel rested edition. So I'm not really a tequila guy, but... It's barrel rusted in whiskey barrels, and it's made by The Rock, so had to get a bottle, have to try it out. Maybe I'll do it this weekend. I don't know, but one trade today on TTWO was a, a decent one, so let's break it down. Let's trade. First and only trade today was on TTWO. You can see it alerting on the scanner right below me, the positive intensity scanner up into the 20s there. Go ahead and get started. 50 shares here at 167.36. Only 50 shares. It's a higher price stock with a big range in the movement. So I wanted to start this one smaller in the event that we start getting into the ads on this one, which is the case, which is what ended up happening. So we'll see what happens here with TTWO, but if you guys are interested in using the scanner, the one that's alerting right below me, the one that I use for all my trades, check the link in the description below and code GDTISW for 20 to 30% off your subscription every single month. So here it goes. Now it's popping real big, real big pop there. So I get another add in right there below 171, another 50 shares. So now I'm up to 100 shares at an average of 169.08. So I'm feeling really good about this trade at this point. That was a really fast move. That's what we're looking for. We're looking for those speed on those big intense moves, hitting up into the 30s there on the in uh, positive intensity scanner. So now it's a matter of what's it gonna do from here. So 169.08, I need down at least down through 168 to really be a start taking profit zone on this one. Look, based on the chart, it should get there pretty easily if it gets me into the profit zone on these first two entries. Otherwise, up through 172, we're going to be looking for a nice pop up through 172 if we're going to add in again. And we're only at 100 shares at this point. We were smart enough to take it a little smaller size because of the movement, because of the price of the stock. So it took this one a little bit easier. So it kind of bounces up and down here for a minute or two between just kind of getting down towards my take profit zone and then the high of the days. It kind of kept popping up and down the spreads. If you look at the spreads up to a point or maybe even a little bit more at times on this one. So those are always a little bit tougher to get the fills back and forth. You got to kind of make sure you're not using market orders you got to use limit orders when you're trading stocks that are that spready otherwise you could end up with some nasty fills so it's kind of popping up and down but starting to push towards that 172 which was the high so i'm looking for a nice pop through 172 here and it pops right here but it's not really a strong move i was looking for a nice strong move up through the highs here on ttwo so no add in here because that was that could be one of those little fake breaks that stocks like to do to the upside very often. So we're not going to add in unless it gives me another nice intense candle here. Not going to get in on the small move, which is either a possible fake break or preempting the bigger move. But here comes the bigger move. So I go ahead and put out 100 shares there at 174.33. I get the fill there. We now have 200 shares short at 171.70. So this chart's looking really good. I don't need much of a pullback to make some decent money on this one. And if we look at it too, that 174.33 fill was just 17 cents below the high of 174.50, which is pretty ridiculous considering the stock has now moved 10 points in the last five minutes and has a point spread at times to get 17 cents off the highs is pretty dang good. So the only thing that I didn't like as much with this one is the distance between the entries made it a little bit harder that I was going to need a bigger pullback uh, just candle wise to make money here. So my came up with the game plan that my average is at 171.70. If we get down below 171, I'm just going to take the whole thing. It'll be a nice win. Can't complain 
I'll be happy with it. So we're looking for down below 171, and it kind of starts bouncing here around 172, which is just above my average. So at this point, we also have to think about, well, what are we going to do if it goes sideways here for a while, and then it wants to pop up through high days? Well, the correct thing to do in that instance is to cut it off at a loss. No big deal. Move on to the next trade. But hopefully it's going to come down here and make some money for me. So it starts pressing down into the 171s now, looking for that move below 171. So I load up 171 in my limit order, and I'm going to wait for the bid on the level 2 right to the right side of the screen there to get below that 171 mark before we push the button. I'm not going to push it and have it order at 171 in case we get a nice flush through 171, especially if we get our nice big flush, one that's multiple points at a time. You don't want to have an order sitting out there that's going to get you a worse fill. So we're pressing down here into the low 171s now, 171.38, 171.25, looking to see if we can press below 171. Here comes 171, looking for that breakdown. There it is. We're below. I press it. I get 170.97. So not that much below 171. It did get it down about 50 cents there, but made some money on it and covered out that trade. So that's going to do it for my day. It did go down about another two points from there, but like I said, because of the range on where and where my entries were spread out throughout that chart, I just wanted to take that one, get the nice win booked up, get the win on the week. So three for three on green days for me. I didn't have any trades Monday and Tuesday. I had a small day. Uh, Wednesday, a decent day. Yesterday, now an okay day today. So we'll take it starting off February all green. We got the Rocks Tequila. Maybe we'll enjoy some of that this week, and hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit like and especially subscribe. It's absolutely free for you. It means everything for me. I do appreciate it. I'll see you later.